Welcome back to Clash with Eric. We've got the One High versus Bangladesh CWL match. It ended at 116, 116, barely sneaking it out on percentage. But today we've got two awesome 11v11 attacks I want to show you, and two awesome 10v10 attacks to show you. Here we go, let's get straight into action. The first attack we got for you today is Suze coming in with. A three golem backside hog attack. So, since she wants to come in from the town hall side, she comes in with the three golems instead of two like you'd normally see. Uh, that's because you don't have the wall wrecker in the middle doing the tanking like normal. So, as you see, she wall breaks in. The wizards are slowly clearing out those sides. Even the wall breaker pops one of the giant bombs, saving a little bit of health from the inner troops. And she gets that jump down early. She's being very patient with the rage. She needs that rage to push those heroes through that queen and the CC. So, you see those bomb towers going down. Here comes the CC. You got Valks and a baby dragon. There goes that rage, that poison. And here comes the stone slammer coming in from the bottom. Stone slammer is going to do some work. So all the key objectives are down already, and the Stone Slammer is just going to narrow down the hog pathing a little bit, making so those hogs can uh, avoid as many traps as possible. The E-Drag comes out. I don't think that was the best choice of a CC. Maybe more hogs would have done a better job. It didn't really do anything there, so <laughs> it was pretty much a swag CC troops. Here the cogs come rolling around the base. Queen's still doing work. She's got that multi on her, but that e drag stepping out. Looks like it's just gonna go to cleanup now. And this base, with one more heal going into that last multi, is wrecked. Let's just clean up from here. <laughs> just another poison. She got the second poison to get those skellies on the multi inferno. This is all over here. Look at the, the archers setting off giant bombs that were missed because of the stone slammer destroying the buildings that would have caused the hogs to path over it. This is brilliant. Bringing in a three star for our fearless leader. Next up, we have Sarthak coming in on Indus Broadway. Uh, he's coming in with a P.E.K.K.A. smash, or frozen P.E.K.K.A., whatever you want to call it nowadays. But you see here, he's gonna first use the P.E.K.K.A.s on the side to form that funnel, making one P.E.K.K.A. walk on each side, going down the flank with wizards following. The rest of the P.E.K.K.A.s go down the middle, and he's gonna use his freezes to protect that wall wrecker to push it as deep as possible. He's also use another freeze over on the flank there to protect the P.E.K.K.A.s, I think a little bit of damage off of them. And watch these freezes coming in on the on the CC troops, the Inferno, the CC's getting caught in it with the Queen. He's getting huge value out of those freezes, pushing that wall record deep into that base. The looks like the Queen walked them on a little bit. That was fine. The wizards were able to finish off that big dragon. And now watch this wall record coming into the final little area. Rage heal, those bowlers pop out, those max level bowlers just wrecking through the backside of this base. Now the only thing he has left to really worry about is that Barbarian King and that single Inferno. So, we got the King is getting their beating on the wall. The Pekkas are helping him. Look at the Queen's helping, but she goes walking on him. She's going to go get in a little bit of danger. Uh, she's got the Expo and the Arch Tower on her. She's going to barely work her way through that. Pops that ability to get through. The King rushes the Inferno. That was a uh, very patient with that king ability to get into the last inferno and the queen breaks the wall gets that archer tower and there is nothing left on the back side of this base it is all clean up from here what does he got standing one two three pekka still alive both heroes this is this is exactly how you want a pekka walk to or pekka smash to go i mean it's brilliant i love it so Sarthak bringing in the three star. Good job, buddy.
Next up, we have JC coming in with an 11 v 11. And he's coming in with, what is that? Mass hogs on 11 v 11? I gotta see this. All right, so he's starting off E-Drag in the three o'clock corner, clearing out that trash. It looks like he's gonna get that archer tower as well. Then he's got the queen with just a giant in there just to give her a little extra time to clear out those defenses. So with this attack, he's got to really narrow the base. So he needs to clear stuff on both sides of it. And if you notice, he's not going to bring the queen down. He's got a skelly spell for the queen and uh, looks like a poison as well. So that E-Drag's pretty much done its job. It's going to go down now. He's just trimming out the other side now, just using the Barbarian King on this one. The, since the other enemy Barbarian King is exposed, he can he can just trade Queen or trade Barbarian Kings with him. Now here comes that Stone Slammer. Just it's gonna come in, get in front of these hogs, and just tank everything. The hogs just coming in from every direction on the back side of this base. Here comes up two ice golems coming out of that CC. That can prove a little bit of trouble for the hogs, but as long as they don't freeze on top of it, the hogs are just going to avoid them for the most part. He's got the double poison down on the, the ice golems. Look at that queen. She misses the skelly spell. <laughs> you think it's over at this point. Hogs rushing the back side of that base. Got a big old pack of them over there on the left side queen just picking them off one at a time she jumps the wall goes back into the skelly spell and look at that she's down that was you can't get more lucky than that that was that was amazing sometimes it just goes your way you know here the hogs go coming into that final hill taking out the last two defenses gets caught in the tornado trap they're just gonna sit there for a little bit there's so many of them they've got a swag heel you know Swag wizards on the cleanup. The skelly spells are clearing out the core. Oh, oh, he shouldn't have done that. Neon would be pissed if she saw that. Here we go again with Suze coming in again for another three star. Bringing in the back end stone slammer from the top side up by the town hall. So this is going to sail it right over the top of it, dropping a one clone electron into that queen. Here comes the balloons, that rage, clone, here comes the CC, this is a tough CC for an electron, that doesn't bother her, she gets the queen, she gets the CC, and I mean that's about, that's about it, there's a couple skellies still standing, that electro dragon's gonna go down pretty quick, but just got, just with enough what she needed, the baby dragon's gonna start funneling the heroes, here comes in the king, the queen, the baby dragon's gonna force the heroes down towards three o'clock, towards those air defenses. The king out in front, just taking out everything to make that queen go right into those air defenses. She makes it look easy. Here comes the, here comes the lava hounds. The balloons behind. He's got a couple. Uh, haste looks like five of them and that heal for that backside inferno Here they come rushing in right away using three of those haste right off the bat There's another one to get through that sweeper Here comes the warden ability to initially uh, get him through that multi inferno and now as soon as that um, Warden ability wears off going into that last archer tower. There's the heal and there are just balloons everywhere. This base is wrecked. That was a beautiful alu. There's still there's still a hound standing. That last eagle strike comes in, hits the balloons. Doesn't even matter. He's inside of that hill. There's <laughs> too many balloons. That last uh, wither tower can't do anything. That's another three star in the bag. Hell of a job, Sus. Hell of a job. And with that. One hive moves on to seven and three. We're tied with uh, Dark Looter Z right now, uh, fighting for that higher seed in the playoffs. We've got one more match against One Hive Genesis coming up uh, next weekend. Uh, but if you like the video, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one.